Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am at home, safe, feeling positive and I truly think that's the most I can do for the world right now and I hope you are doing exactly the same thing. For me, nothing really changes a lot because who knows me or who follows my YouTube channel knows how much I love to put on makeup, put on perfume, glam up and stay at home, cook something really delicious, create something new or do some things for me and my family. So in today's video, I am going to show you how I prepare moussaka. Moussaka is Turkish dish, but of course it has a few versions of, of it. Greek version that you probably tried at um, some Greek restaurants. And in my opinion, the most delicious version of that dish is Serbian, of course. So in today's video, I'm going to cook with you Serbian version of moussaka. With makeup, of course, with perfume, why not? Let's feel great. Let's cook something great and let's stay strong. Let's get started. And this is all we need for our moussaka. One onion, two bigger potatoes, a pound of ground beef, eight tablespoons of vegetable oil, 15 grams of salt, a little bit of black pepper, three eggs, 250 milliliters of milk, and two flat tablespoons of flour. I put my onion in a blender and I started frying onion with vegetable oil for around 10 minutes. You put a little bit of salt here After 10 minutes of frying, we add our meat and carefully divide it in small little pieces so we don't end up with big pieces of meat. Now we add 7 grams of salt, which is like a teaspoon. and a little bit of black pepper. Now we need to mix it all well. The meat is looking good. We are not going to fry it for a long time because we don't want it to lose all the moist. And I always recommend trying this meat right now because depending on what type of salt you are using, it could need a little bit more salt or it's just fine. So make sure it's fine, it's salty enough and try it right now. When the meat is done, that is the moment to clean your potatoes because you don't want them to change the color if you clean them before, of course. Now it's time to cut them, not too thick, no too thin, just like this. This is the dish I'm using for my moussaka and I start putting these pieces of potatoes at the bottom of the dish just like this. When the bottom is completely covered, it's time to put all the meat on the top of potatoes. Just like this. And now we put on the meat potatoes exactly the same way like we do right at the bottom. Just 
just like this. For the sauce, we mix three eggs. I like to make it foamy like this. Now we carefully add two flat tablespoons of all-purpose flour and around 5 grams of salt. Now you mix it well and add 250 milliliters or one cup of milk. Now we need to pour the sauce over our moussaka. It's so nice and foamy. Now you cover your dish and put your moussaka in preheated oven on 450 degrees or 220 degrees in Celsius. After 30 minutes, we take off the cover and bring our moussaka back to bake for 30 more minutes. We lower down the temperature to 400 degrees or 200 degrees in Celsius. And after 60 minutes in total or one hour, our moussaka is perfectly baked and ready to eat. My serving recommendation is to eat hot moussaka with super cold fresh cow cheese. Mmm, look at this perfection. Tomorrow cold? Even better. <laughs> yeah, cold is even better.